Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and the Empress got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. You know what it is, man. It's WNBA Wednesdays. You know, we give you a brief recap of what's going on, because I know a lot of y'all don't watch, but y'all try to pretend that you do. That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? I ain't did it. But I do watch it. I'm going to get you right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So let me grab my notes real quick. Let me get right. So yeah, yesterday, man, we saw two top teams in the WNBA, you know what I'm saying? The number one team in the Connecticut Sun and the number two team in the New York Liberty play. So let's start off covering their games. They're the only two games yesterday. And let's start off in, in, in order of the best. So first games first, first things first, and that's Connecticut Sun, man. So we had the Connecticut Sun versus the LA Sparks, man. And that, and, and that was, a, um, you know, right at the beginning, right after... Tip off, seemingly after tip off, um, the LA Sparks had a scare, man. Their rookie Cameron Brink uh, uh, had a had an injury, a knee, an apparent knee injury, three and a half minutes into the first quarter. You know, so she was uh, carried off. Can't touch every single possession, and it draws the defense in and allows for open opportunities. Damn. I'm sorry. Four of the five starters have already made a basket. Brink and Jones were tangled up. Just tried to push here two on the make. Looks like Brink just lost her footing. And suffered a knee injury, who the full extent of the injury and severity of the injury has not been disclosed yet, but it'll be disclosed later. Like I said, it was, it was seemingly right after the jump ball, three and a half minutes into the game. And um, yeah, it didn't really improve much from there for the LA Sparks either. You know, their other star rookie player, Rakia Jackson, uh, she she kind of struggled for the field again. I believe she shot three for eight, you know, contributed 10 points with Eric McDonald uh, leading the Sparks, the LA Sparks with 14, you know. Uh, but the Sun... On the other side of the ball, the Connecticut Sun, the number one team in the league in the WNBA right now, they had a collective effort from five players, man. Five players contributed dub double digits, and so that's hard to overcome, you know. And they are they play as a collective. They all you, you never know who's going to go off. You might get all of them going off simultaneously. It, it, it's crazy because um, this 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 team effort is indicative of why they're the best in the league right now. You know, uh, I said that I said that uh, with a with a record of thirteen and one. You know, and so they they just showed their dominance. You know, and um, Bonner she led the way with sixteen points. Uh, her and Clary did actually had a little run and a little skirmish, if you will, um, that resulted in two technical fouls. You know, a technical foul for each, and then it also ended in a, in a comfortable lead for the comfortable win, and comfortable comfortable win, and a comfortable lead for the Connecticut Sun, beating the LA Sparks seventy nine to seventy. You know, and they still remain in the league best. You know, on to our next game, the Liberty. Whew. Not only do they lose the game, they also lose their A game streak to the Phoenix Mercury. Oh my goodness, Stewie, she did her thing. You know, the former MVP Brianna Stewart. You know, what I'm talking about she's a star player. She did what stars are supposed to do. She dropped 28 points. Damn. I'm sorry. To go along with Ioeska, Sabrina Ioeska, uh, uh, I believe she had uh, 19, and uh, and Jaquil Joe, she also contributed 17. So they had a pretty good team effort from them as well, but it still was not enough. The Liberty went up by a, a total of 12 points with four minutes left in the third, and they just seemed to just uh, uh, maybe get too comfortable. I don't know what it was, but if you watch the game, it was a highly competitive game. So I don't even want to say they got too comfortable. It's just I'm gonna just give all the credit to the Phoenix Mercury, man. The Phoenix Mercury, they came alive and. And uh, BG, she had a galvanizing block on Big Stew. You know what I'm talking about? Black, 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 black. She had a nice block on Stewie. It seemed to turn up the Phoenix Mercury even more. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's her being the former MVP. They're having a big a big woman battle down there. Even though Stewie was going crazy from behind the arc, she tried to take it down low in the post. And, and BG, Brittany Griner said, uh-uh, Mrs. Jackson, I'm not going. So, uh, you know, she she dropped 19 points to go with that big galvanizing block and momentum was still in block. And then, you know, DT, the GOAT, you know, you know the GOAT, the she had to contribute her her 19 as well. So you got 19 points from DT, Diana Taurasi, 19 points from, from, from Brittany Griner. That's hard. That's hard to overcome. And then not even to mention Kalia Copper, Kalia Copper and Becky Allen contributed 17 points each with the 17 points being a season high, I believe, for, 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 for Rebecca, you know. So, you know, that's just that's just hard to overcome. You know, the final score ended up being 99 to 93. It was a great game. New York Liberty really, really, they played their hearts out, you know, but the but the Phoenix Mercury said, hey, we not playing today. We we going to end that streak, daddy. And that's what they did. They ended that streak. Uh, but the Liberty, they still remain the second best team in the league right behind the uh, Connecticut Suns. So the uh, the Liberty, they, they uh, 
I think their record is 12 and 3. Yeah, 12 and 3. And so that's still good enough for second best of the league. So there's no, there's no shame in that. But I look forward to seeing these, uh, all, all these teams play. The WNBA is turning up, you know, outside of, 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 um, Outside of Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, you know, the, uh, the other ladies are balling as well. So we need, to, we need to pay attention to that and respect that, you know. Respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. So, uh, yeah, that, that's it for WNBA Wednesdays. Hopefully you enjoyed it. The bowl, if I didn't say it, both of these games happened yesterday. So last night. Um, and, yeah, it was a great game. So I look forward to the games tonight. Appreciate y'all walking me as always. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. Y'all be easy. Take care. God bless. Peace, ladies. Keep doing your thing. Happy Juneteenth, by the way. You know what I'm saying? One time for freedom for everybody. One time for equality. And shout out to all my brothers and sisters and kings and queens out there, man. Big up some Freedom Day. Happy Juneteenth, y'all. Take care. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.